Batteries are extremely important these days, since we use more wireless devices than ever before. And there are many different types of batteries. The three most common types of batteries right now are alkaline, NIMH and lithium ion. But what exactly are the differences between these three types and which one's the best? Let's start off with the alkaline battery. Alkaline batteries usually come in a standard form factor like AA or C. This means that they're compatible with a variety of electronic devices. The first major advantage of alkaline batteries is their extremely low self-discharge rate. Every battery slowly discharges when it's not being used, but alkaline batteries almost don't do this at all, which makes them suitable for things like remote controls. That's why sometimes it seems like alkaline batteries can last forever. They can sit in that remote control for years without you having to worry about them. Something else that's great about alkaline batteries is that they're quite cheap. Then, alkaline has some big disadvantages as well. First of all, the chemical process inside an alkaline battery isn't reversible, which means you cannot recharge an alkaline battery. Well, there are actually rechargeable alkaline batteries out there, but they are quite rare and they still aren't very good. Another disadvantage of alkaline batteries is that their voltage drops quite quickly when used. At last, alkaline batteries aren't very good at providing a high electric current. If you install an alkaline battery in a device that demands a high current, the capacity of the alkaline battery will drop severely. This makes alkaline batteries not very suitable for power-hungry devices like digital cameras. Then there is also the NIMH battery. NIMH stands for Nickel Metal Hydride and it's the successor of Nickel Cadmium, aka NICD. The NIMH battery comes in standard form factors like AA, but also many custom battery packs like this one from an RC car are NIMH. The first major advantage of an NIMH battery is that it can be recharged. That's good for your wallet and for the environment. On top of that, they don't have that voltage dropping effect that alkaline batteries have. Also, NIMH batteries can supply high electric currents without any issues, making them an excellent choice for power-hungry devices like digital cameras. On top of that, the energy density of NIMH batteries, so the charge per gram, is pretty high. But of course, NIMH also has disadvantages. First of all, NIMH batteries have a very high self-discharge rate, much higher than that of alkaline batteries. So, unlike alkaline batteries, NIMH batteries can't sit in a remote control for years without needing to be replaced or recharged. Also, NIMH batteries are more expensive than alkaline batteries. Then, NIMH batteries also suffer from something called the memory effect. This means that NIMH batteries always need to be fully charged and entirely discharged. If you start charging an NIMH battery while it's not empty yet, the capacity of the battery decreases, and that's the memory effect. The last type of battery that we are going to discuss in this video is the lithium-ion battery. This type of battery is usually a custom-designed one for a specific device like a laptop or a phone. Lithium-ion batteries are rechargeable and well known for their high energy density. Their energy density is even higher than that of NIMH batteries, and this makes them suitable for very small electronics that use lots of power, like smartphones. Like NIMH, their voltage stays quite stable when they're used, and also like NIMH, high currents aren't an issue. What's also nice about lithium-ion batteries is that they don't suffer from the memory effect. That's also why they're used for phones, laptops and tablets. That's why it doesn't matter if you plug in your phone while the battery isn't empty yet. Now let's take a look at some disadvantages of lithium-ion batteries. First of all, they are much more expensive than NIMH and alkaline batteries. Lithium-ion batteries certainly aren't cheap. 
Also, lithium-ion batteries aren't as safe as the other two types discussed in this video. While NIMH batteries can pop if handled improperly, lithium-ion batteries can potentially explode. Also, like NIMH batteries, lithium-ion batteries have a much higher self-discharge rate than regular alkaline batteries. So now, which one's the best? Well, technically, lithium-ion is the overall winner. It's currently what could be called the best battery type out there. However, lithium-ion isn't always the right battery to use, because that depends on the situation. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.